today we are going to play CUNY prep style math Jeopardy. Give it up, give it up. Algebra for 30. You got a minute, go. Got 30 points, number one. Another possible combination is 11 and 15, right? That's even. Or 11 and 20, 20. That's odd. Geometry for 30. Find the value of X. Oh! Oh! Yes. One minute remaining. Oh, that's We're up okay. by 50. Okay, are you ready? 40, we, we, if we get this, we get 90. All right, what's your answer? Yeah. Good job, right? Thanks for your hours. I think Mount Zeppelin is fun. It made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was fun. I enjoyed this. It's some stuff I didn't know, but I learned how to do it. It's eight adults eight together. Eight men with seven wives. So it's two men, eight adults. Each wife has seven, seven children. children. Seven. 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 See, my nah, nah, nah. It's kind of empty now, but we're going to win. Watch. Seven times seven times seven. I need an Excel spreadsheet. Who <laughs> <laughs> think it's 14? Listen, listen, listen. listen. Uh, I've seen stuff like this in bad So now we can have 10. Five. That's like a marathon. Each can have two kids. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All together? Minus three. It's not 40, it's 45. What you got? I'm just sticking with 930. Look, it's 1030, right? Four, five, four. Can I get a pen? Yeah. Team six. Yeah. Got me working in here, man. Watch, I'm gonna make it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do This is a poster session. All right, we have nine experts on nine different topics in health, in public health. You need to just circulate around the room, check out the posters, ask questions, learn about these different topics, and answer these questions. One of the people that I wrote about in my essay, her name is Carrie, and her addiction was exercising, but she was a bulimic. So <laughs> Like if you live in a, like a more urban community, you'll have a likely more chance to catch asthma. Normally, anemia is it's a, just a family history. If your family has it, you're more likely to get it. And these are a normal amount of red blood cells, where you feel normal and you're happy and you're full of energy. Some people, like if you get the double shot, some people will gain weight, some people won't. 
some people got to despair. One stage you feel too energetic, the other stage you feel too sleepy, and then another stage is like you lose interest in everything. Rather than feeling the pain of my daddy left me and I got fired, they'd rather feel the pain on their skin. Two things that can't mix together, mm -hmm. like say water and oil, they can't mix together, right? So you need something to bring it all together. And you need a emulsifier. Thank you for explaining that. <laughs> you needed more chicken, but you don't have a What we made was chicken apple quesadilla. The heat from the stove top made the oil hot, which made the chicken cook. I don't care, it's food, food, I mean it. And our um, chemistry principle was um, conduction, because heat transfer from a solid to a solid. I use um, physical, physical changes and conduction. The chemistry principle was called transfer, right? <laughs> <laughs> because the transfer process, I transfer them from the bag to the oven, and then I give it to y'all to eat. But that's my presentation. We're gonna need um, facilitators, talk show host, right? Who wants to be the next Oprah? My TV host. Does anybody have a particular preference? Wants to say more about what we learned, or final subject? I just think Empire State of Mind is the. Um, yeah. yeah, we need characters and she wants like she said you're the stars of the show. That's gonna be five minutes long. Your segments are five minutes long. You wanna bring bread? Yes, you wanna bring people in? It's gonna be slow. What are you to? You guys, I want you to go and rip some music, theme music. Everybody playing music. Go on there, edit it. Beginning of our. Yo, you need a cup, man. You need a cup, folks. Tell the people what to do. Where's the last? To stand up. Look at Miss Boo. What did you overcome while doing the oral history project? I overcame to project myself in a better way. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, that's the other thing. They have to respond, so they have to also say that back. What is this? You've been here for this long and you still don't have nothing in your paper? You want you want you 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 not serious? This is the 12th week of June? Oh my goodness. Bless your heart. And uh welcome to the view. Thank you so much for being here. The first piece of technology that I ever bought had to be music. A transistor portable radio. My aunt Liz Galinda. Welcome to the CUNY Williams Show. We have a lot to cover today. How are you doing? What was your favorite part about doing your oral interview? My favorite part was the end. <laughs> I, mean, I wanted to do an interview on her because I, I was inspired in her life and she went through a hard time. Well, for my project, I picked my mom because like she right now she's the closest thing to me. My grandmother left me and stuff, so so I picked her to you know we've been through a lot in life with my father. I almost lost my daughter too. She's only 17. At the age of eight, my daughter's running the streets because of her father because she was rebelling and she was taking it all out on me. And I thank CUNY Prep. I thank everybody here since last year who helped me with her because I thought I would never see this day that my daughter's graduated out of school and told me that she wants to go to college. That is a blessing. 